We're following up on a story that we brought you last week that has struck a chord with thousands of you on Facebook. I'm talking about the surprise Safeway inspections that turned up spoiled meat and moldy produce. Now, there are only two grocery stores serving 70,000 people in Ward 7, covering parts of Southeast and Northeast D.C. Councilmember Vince Gray had a closed door meeting with Safeway execs today, and our Delia Gonsalves was outside in the hallway waiting for them. It was a very productive meeting. After an hour and a half meeting, Safeway execs gave us a canned response. Do you have any changes in store in regards to the, uh, the, the unsanitary conditions, the long lines, the bad meat? Again, it was a very productive meeting and uh, we'll get back to you. Thank you. I can't give them any uh, assurances about the changes. Uh, I can tell you Safeway claims that they made a number of changes which are not visible to me. They, they were telling me that I could walk into any store, Safeway or otherwise, and see molded, you know, uh, strawberries, that you could find meat uh, that may uh, be past its date uh, in many stores in the District of Columbia. I said, well, I'm not talking about many stores, I'm talking about these stores, and I saw that. We talked that day, and mm. you yourself said it was unacceptable for it's residents still, in the District it, of it's Columbia. It's still unacceptable, Delia, but neither one is, is, is at a level where I would give it, uh, you know, anything close to a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. And what was their explanation as to why it's not a 10? Why those stores aren't as good as Social Safeway or any other Safeway west of the river? Well, in substantial part, it was because of the, uh, the profitability. Uh, they said they're not making money in either one of those stores. They, they're concerned about the so-called negative media. I said the media is what it is at this stage. And since last week's story, progress. Someone texted me a picture and said it's a miracle. Seven <laughs> lanes open at once. Um, more managers than ever. Well, so the challenge is if they keep it up, right? Well, that's exactly up. right. I mean, once the pressure is off, will it change? Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9. Safeway says they have no plans to shut down the stores, but will continue to work with improving them, working off a plan of action given to them by the council member. They have already changed security companies and will work with D.C. police, they say, to improve security.